Well, first of all, I'd like to thank everyone for attending this event tonight. It's a much better day than Tuesday <laughs> afternoon when it was pouring down rain. So, you know, the postponing it actually worked out for the better for us. But um, first of all, I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Raul Delarme. I'm the Bureau Chief of Capital Projects, Park Planning and Construction. And John Bird, our director, uh, sends his regrets. He couldn't be here with us tonight. He's actually on vacation. So again, thank you for coming. And I, I do see some people in the audience that attended a meeting about a year ago with our park board. And I'd like to thank them, uh, the people that attended that meeting, to propose on how we could rebuild this park. Um, uh, thank you for, for attending that and speaking to the park board on, on your behalf. And the, this community park was constructed back in 1986. And th that park had an old wooden playground at the time. And, and back in uh, 2009, that's when we rebuilt the, the playground as it sat in this location. But unfortunately, on May 26, 2015, uh, it was burnt down due to arson. But the community rallied together. They met with us here on site and asked us how we can rebuild this playground quickly and how actually try and restructure it and actually get more equipment and as you see we did that here today and it's a great piece of uh, equipment and ice playground um, the playground just to give you an idea is separated into two areas we have a two to five year old playground set here uh, we have a swings two bay swing set and what we enlarged is behind me is, is a large two to five uh, year playground area and as you see if you walk on this surface it's, it's a nice bonded rubber playground surfacing which is a, a a product that really holds up to the head attenuation you know for falls and all that um, so back in the spring of 2018 uh, we're also going to uh, we're hoping in the spring of 2018 if you see here on the side here is a uh, conceptual plan that we came up with we actually met with the board uh, to redesign this site to make it a better site. So we're going to talk a little more, more at the end of that to let you know what is going to exist. So, but now I'd like to introduce our county executive, Alan Kittleman. Thank you. Thank you, Raul. Thank you very much, Raul. Uh, first, before I say anything else, I want to thank the community for your patience, for working with us so well. Um, this couldn't have happened without all of your support and all of your input. Um, I also want to make sure I thank the Recreation and Parks Department, uh, Raul and everybody else who's here and, and those who are part, part of it. We're very fortunate in Howard County to have a Recreation and Parks Department that really works with our communities and really does the best they can to try to figure out the best ways in which our, our properties can be used to help our communities. And, and this is a very special place. I know that Jen and Frank and Guy, who are here next to me, um, they, they know the community very well. They've represented it for a long, long time. Uh, but for me, it's special now because my daughter lives here. And she actually walked down the path, she just lives right around there, and she comes here, her dog is here today, she comes here with her dog, and she doesn't have any children yet. Yet, waiting for grandchildren. Um, but um, but this, is, this is a community she lives in, so it's, I'm glad to see that we have this for her and, and her, uh, her, her, her boyfriend and everyone else to come and, and be part of it. So thank you to the young people for being here. Uh, I also want to thank uh, our state delegation, as well as, of course, Jen Traz, the council person working so closely with the community and being such involved with it. Uh, thank you, Jen. But our state delegation uh, helped put a state bond bill in. Uh, Senator Gazone and, and, and Delegate Turner and the delegation made sure that there was also state funding to help support this. So this was a great partnership between the state and the local and the community. I think it's going to turn out to be really good, and I appreciate all your support. With that, I want to turn it over to my former council colleague, uh, Guy Gazzoni. We served on the council together for a while and also in the legislature to have him say a few words. Guy. Thanks. Thanks. Good afternoon, everybody. You know, I was uh, sitting here for a couple moments, and I, I, when Roel was talking, I could barely hear what he was saying. I'm sitting next yeah. to him. I could barely hear what he was saying because the kid's laughing in the background. i got to tell you, that put the biggest smile on my face to think that um, that's what this kind of place does. And a bigger smile, too, that um, you know, when something happens, when some sort of tragic event where somebody, uh, unfortunately, um, did, did a misdeed here, that we said, no, we're not going to stand for that. We're going to rebuild it again, and we're going to make sure that the kids have a place to play once again. So I'm going to call uh, Delia Turner up also. Uh, he'll say a few words. Uh, the county executive is correct. Uh, the delegation um, came together on this project and uh, came up with a $150,000 bond bill to help um, fund this, this, uh, this playground. Um, so... Uh, it's something that the whole delegation has a real commitment to. 
I actually, up until two days ago, <laughs> lived right beyond those trees. Um, and my kids played here. Um, so I know how important um, this community park is. And I know how important community parks in general are. So, anyhow, with that being said, I'm going to turn it over to Delia Turner. Thank you. I, I think Guy said most of, and the, and the county executive said most of what needed to be said. You know, it's, it's just uh, one thing I would keep us vigilant and keep us, keep our, keep focused on, let's make sure this playground is here. Let's everybody keep their eyes open. And uh, if you see something, say something. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll respond, and I'm sure that um, uh, that that would be the call for everyone. You know, just make sure this is the last time we have to do this. Thank you. There's actually one more person I'd like to introduce, but I want to say something about it real quick. Um, the next person I'd like to introduce is uh, a person who loves to design playgrounds. I've, I've worked with her for several years, and one... One other thing she likes to do is pick out the colors. So um, uh, I'd like to introduce Councilwoman Jen Terrassa. Thank you, Raul. Um, I do love playgrounds. I love playgrounds because playgrounds build communities. And I know this community is, so, is going to be so thrilled and is so thrilled to have this important community asset back. I think. Um, I know, I know we are excited to have it back, and I think um, one thing we haven't mentioned is this is actually the second time we're rebuilding, or the third time really, but the second time we've lost this playground. Um, and we, I think the third time is absolutely the charm. We're going to keep this one going. This one is nicer than it has ever been, and I'm so excited to be here. I want to thank the county executive and Rec and Parks and the delegation for all partnering to make this happen. And I, I think Senator Gazzoni already said that the sounds of the kids playing in the background is really what this is all about, and I just love that sound. So with that, I, I'm just so excited to be here and thankful that we are opening up this community asset again. Thank you. Just one last thing is um, the actual bond bill is going to go a lot further than just a playground. As you see here on the side, uh, we're, what we're planning on doing for our next phase is actually we're going to move the basketball court. This is going to become a, a just kind of a multi-purpose play area. And then we're going to move the basketball court kind of around the back corner here. If you locate, see on the plan, you'll see where the playground is. And then also we're going to have a loop pathway system. And, and what's, for, what's nice about that, it's going to be approximately a quarter acre, I'm mean not a quarter acre, sorry, a quarter mile long. So basically four times around will be a mile so people will walk and will know, you know, what their exercise is going to be so but now I'd like to invite every, you know all the children to come up and uh, cut the ribbon with us if you can Hi, mommy. <laughs> everybody ready Daddy. okay we're at three two one we're gonna cut okay three, three two, two one, one. 